Today's Tuesday tax tip has to do with dealing with IRS audits. You open the mail, you get a letter from the IRS that says your return from two or three years ago has been selected for audit. What do you do? Well, the first thing you do is you relax. Um, don't panic because chances are it's just a random audit. You haven't done anything in particular. Uh, a small percentage of the population, around 1% or so, is selected each year for audit. Now, obviously, if you have high income, if you earn millions of dollars, your, your chance of being audited goes up because the government's a business like any other, and if they audit somebody who's making $10 million a year, there's a lot better chance of collecting some revenue than if they select somebody who's making $30,000 a year. But again, a certain percentage of returns are selected each year, and again, this is done in order to keep the rest of the population a little more honest. But... Uh, my first suggestion is to hire a tax professional, and there are multiple reasons. One, we are much more experienced in dealing with the IRS than the average taxpayer is. Um, so right away, that a lot of the fear that you will have will be taken out of the equation. Two, if you meet with an IRS agent by yourself without representation, they may try, depending on the agent, to hand you leading questions in order to have you trip up or, or say something that you didn't mean to say. Three, if, if, if you are meeting with an IRS agent and you stammer over something because you're not really sure what the answer was because it was two or three years ago, uh, you look guilty. If I'm meeting with the IRS and you're not at a meeting and they ask me a question and I don't know the answer, I can simply say I need to confer with my client and I'll get back to you and that gives us time to research the answer um, and, and come back with something that's a little more intelligent. Um, also, the IRS does not expect anyone to necessarily meet with them by themselves. There is no presumption of guilt on your part if you hire um, representation. So I just think for, for a variety of reasons, I think the best method for you would be to select a tax professional, relax, realize that unless you did something that you know is is really wrong let somebody handle it for you and um, once you go through an audit if you have a no change actually that's a very good thing because you have that on your record if you were ever selected for audit again that the last time you were they were in you had a no change so don't fear the audit if it ever happens contact a tax professional and um, relax you'll make it through it Hope this tip helps you out. I'll see you again next week.